I am Dr. Abhijit Das, Consultant Thoracic Surgical Oncology at Apollo Cancer Center. Uh, I would like to speak about the mediastinal tumors, which is very commonly involves the thoracic cavity. Mediastinal tumors are something which uh, involves the mediastinal fat, which lies in front of the heart or uh, above the heart or at the back of the heart. So the most common mediastinal tumors that occurs in human body are uh, anteriorly it is thymoma, thymic carcinoma, lymphoma, teratoma uh, or some cystic uh, tumors. Posteriorly, the most common mediastinal tumors are uh, neurogenic tumors. Uh, how they are diagnosed? Most commonly, they are incidentally diagnosed as and when somebody goes for some investigations like CT chest or chest x-ray for some other complaint and incidentally they are diagnosed with a mediastinal tumor. As because we know the most common mediastinal tumor uh, in the world is first thymoma, second also thymoma and third is also thymoma. And uh, so the management basically depends on uh, what is the stage of the disease and whether it is surgically resectable or not. In that case, uh, the treatment is surgery, which is complete excision of the mediastinal mass. Um, most of the time, uh, uh, we do the surgery with a minimal invasive approach, uh, either video assisted thoracoscopic surgery or robotic assisted thoracic surgery, where the complete mass is excised from the anterior mediastinum or if the lesion is lying in the posterior mediastinum, that also excised in a minimal invasive approach. Post-surgery, based on the stage and the type of disease, the patient might need some chemotherapy or radiotherapy based on the disease histopathology. Mediastinal tumor, although it is tagged as a rare disease, but still commonly we see it among our uh, population of patients. And uh, most of the time it is diagnosed incidentally because per se it does not have any specific symptoms. Sometimes patient may present with cough, chest pain or respiratory complaints.